In this lesson, we'll cover how to set the camera shutter mode and auto black balance. To set your shutter mode, go ahead and press menu, camera setup, shutter mode, and select angle. You could go ahead and press menu again just to step out of there. Now it's best to set the camera at a 180 degree shutter angle so it stays that way no matter what frame rate you're in. For example, right now we're shooting at 2398 frames per second, so the 180 degree angle is equivalent to 1 48th of a second in terms of shutter speed. Now let's say that you want to shoot in slow motion at 60 frames per second. We could just leave the shutter angle at 180 or do the math and change the shutter speed to 1 120th of a second. Trust me, it's a lot easier to leave it in shutter angle without the need to do the math for light compensation. Now let's go ahead and set the auto black balance. Verify that the body cap is on the camera and stay in camera setup. So go back to menu, camera setup, and go ahead and scroll to page, submenu page six and select ABB, which stands for auto black balance. Go ahead and press okay. Here's a pro tip. If the body cap is not attached, you will get an error message. So make sure that the body cap, which is here, is actually present before you press that button. Auto black balance is a way to refresh the image reproduction of your camera and should be done if the camera hasn't been used in a while. Or when there's a temperature change, let's say you're going from indoor air conditioning to outdoor heat, or when there's an ISO change. You may have noticed that we actually put a lens back on the camera. That's because we're about to turn on peripheral illumination correction and chromatic aberration correction. So in order to turn on peripheral illumination correction, you wanna go ahead and go to your menu, go to submenu page six, in peripheral illumination, go from off to on. Now the reason that you wanna have peripheral illumination correction on is to prevent any vignetting in camera. Essentially vignetting are the dark edges you see around the frame. Next, we wanna turn on chromatic aberration correction from off to on. So what chromatic aberration correction does it corrects any color distortion brought about by the lens. Now, let's continue learning together. Please join me in the next lesson.